We hear all the time that engineers can answer almost any question. With the right mix of math, science, and willpower, engineers can find you that answer and around 20 others you didn't need. But there is one question that even some engineers can't answer. It's mostly asked by interviewers, friends, or that nosy neighbor that always asks your mom if you're finally seeing someone. That question is, what the heck is a biosystems engineer? Now for other types of engineers, the question is a tad easier to provide. Electrical engineers make circuits and electrocute themselves. Computer engineers design operating systems and become hackers for the U.S. government. Chemical engineers make new pharmaceuticals and really enjoy the show Breaking Bad. Mining engineers just really like blowing things up. And we don't talk about civil engineers. But for biosystems engineers, the answer is a little broader. We do everything from the designing the lawnmower in your garage to creating the hip replacement your grandma had put in. The textbook definition, and by textbook I mean Wikipedia, of a biosystems engineer is as follows. A field of engineering which integrates engineering science and design with applied biological and environmental sciences. This basically just means that we combine math and science to solve problems that have to do with living things. This allows biosystems engineers to work in a variety of fields, making it one of the most versatile degrees you can get here at UK. Two of the largest branches of biosystems engineering can be found all over our little slice of heaven that is Kentucky. Agriculture and distilleries. That's right kids, we make corn grow better. And that's right adults, we make great whiskey out of the corn we make grow better. But it doesn't stop there. Biosystems engineering is divided into six main segments. First we have machine system automation. These guys make everything from tractors to water purifiers. Next we have controlled environment systems. These guys make sure your house stays warm and your fridge stays cold. Third, we have food and bioprocessing. Those are your distillers and your farmers. Then we have bioenvironmental, also known as tree hugger engineering. Prebiomedical allows you to go on to graduate school to design medical equipment or processes. And last but not least, we have pre-vet and pre-med. This degree can prepare you for entrance into med or vet school and it looks great on an application. These fields all open up into even more specialization and even more opportunities. Biosystems engineers can do almost anything, but what does it take to be a biosystems engineer? First and foremost, it takes perseverance. Engineering school's hard. It's kind of like a fire hydrant burst and you're trying to catch all the water with your mouth, but it's not impossible. Sure, you'll fall down a few times, but the important thing is to keep getting up. Work hard, study harder, and find some time to play, and you'll make it through. Next, it takes a love of knowledge. Catching all that water with your mouth is a lot more enjoyable if you have a true interest in what you're catching. If learning is a passion and something you want to do for the rest of your life, biosystems engineering is a great way to start. And finally, it takes creativity. A lot of the problems in, in engineering are not open and shut. You have to think outside the box. Sometimes the box is filled with cow manure and you need to find a way to capture the methane gas to fuel your design for an eco-friendly motorcycle. Don't be afraid to have wacky ideas, because sometimes, those are the ones that change the world. And that's exactly what biosystems engineers do. They change the world. One pacemaker, tractor, or water filter at a time.